Hey guys, happy go lucky here, back for another maths question of the day. Today we're looking at the 2020 specimen paper from the IGCSC, paper two, extended questions, and we're looking today at completing the square and finding turning points. The question goes as follows. Find the turning point of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 3 by completing the square. Press pause, have a go at the question, and I'll be back for the work solutions in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, back for the work solutions. So the first thing we need to do is be aware of how to complete the square. So normally that's something that doesn't factorize very well, or you have to sketch the graph in some kind of way to find the solutions. So a turning point is when you've got a quadratic graph, a U-shaped or an N-shaped parabola, the turning point is this point here, as soon as it goes from the minimum and then rises back up again. That's what's called a turning point. And completing the square, the method for doing that is to, if whatever you've got, so this case, x squared plus 4x minus 3, focus just on the x squared plus 4x bit. If we wanted to complete the square, we would find out the way a quadratic works is two terms add together to make that 4x, and you know, the two x's would make the x squared. The thing we're missing, and therefore incomplete, is the number that comes at the end. So for example, if we change this, instead of x squared plus 4x, to x plus 2 squared, if you opened up x plus 2 squared, you would get x squared, so x times x, you would get 2x plus 2x, which would be 4x, and you would get the squared bit at the end from 2 squared being 4. If we want to complete the square, we need to say x squared plus 4x minus 3, is the same as saying what we've just done, x plus 2 squared, but without the number squared bit, without the 2 squared bit. So we take away the 4, and also from the question originally, there was also a minus 3. So completing the square of this, we get a final answer of x plus 2 squared, take away 4, take away 3, take away 7. So that is exactly the same graph as that up there. So there's two marks for that first bit. One bit for getting the x plus 2 squared bit, and one bit for finding the minus 7. Okay, so we've completed the square, and that's all good. Now to find the turning point. There's some rules when you see equations of graphs. Anything that's inside the bracket is shifting. Anything outside the bracket is lifting. When you've got a positive inside the brackets, like we do here, we're shifting to the left. If it's negative, we'd shift to the right. We've got negative. And when we're outside, we are going lifting if it's a positive number, or going down, so we're actually de lifting <laughs> when it's a negative. Okay, so looking at a normal graph of y equals x squared, it would go through zero and back up again if it was just y equals x squared. We've got y equals x plus 2 squared. So what that's going to do is going to shift our graph two spaces to the left. It's going to move across to that way. So instead of normally crossing at 0, 0, it now crosses at minus 2, 0. So that's a shifting done. Now the lifting, or in this case the de-lifting, we're going to drop. Because it's minus 7, negative 7, this graph now has to drop 7 places. So instead of being minus 2, 0, it's going to come all the way down to minus 2 and 7 below 0. So the new turning point would be, and here's your answer, negative 2, negative 7. So four marks available for that question. Two marks for getting the complete and the square done and finding out that it was plus 2 squared minus 7. And then the further two more marks for actually putting the coordinates in the right places. So the turning point of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 3 is negative 2, negative 7. Okay, hope you enjoyed that question and you got something from it. I've been Happy Go Lucky, and today you've been doing finding turning points of a quadratic graph by completing the square. Tricky stuff that, good for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!